this is me, Pana, once again, your Renaissance woman. I wanted to talk to you all about the ever-increasing problem of dumping our landfills. We humans are uh, social animals and we try to get sucked into this fast-growing fashion world. We are carried away with uh, all the stuff that our friends and family uh, keep buying for themselves or their kids, you know. So we are really pressurized to get the same or something even more better for ourselves or our kids. As a parent, we always want the best for our kid, don't we all, right? But we fail to realize that this might be a luxury for our kid where it might be a necessity for another little one. Kids outgrow things so fast sometimes they don't even have a chance to actually use some stuff that we buy for them and all that expensive uh, stuff that you buy is just a waste I would say. So I was doing a bit of research about the landfills in Canada and uh, guess what? 85% uh, of uh, all our collective apparels end up in uh, the landfills. That's like an open 10.5 million tons. That's a lot. Now in a, in a single year, Canada produces a textile waste stage, which could create a mountain three times the size of Toronto Rogers Centre. Can you believe that? I'm a socially conscious consumer, so I reuse, reduce and recycle. The most popular solution is to donate your clothing. I myself periodically uh, donate uh, my old clothes or kids' uh, toys to Canadian Diabetic Association. And this is one way to keep your uh, clothing and other unwanted stuff out of the landfills. Perhaps uh, the best way to reduce the amount of clothing ending up in the landfills is to uh, curb the desire of uh, sporting the latest trends. That's one way. Since my child was born, I have always shopped at Once Upon a Child. This is an amazing place uh, where you can actually buy secondhand uh, items for kids. And you can also actually sell your uh, kids' clothes or toys or anything related to your kids. So 
I went in today uh, to Once Upon a Child to shop uh, for indoor shoes for my child because he outgrew his previous ones that he had. I just bought them like less than six months ago and I have only paid around six or seven dollars for them. So I don't feel that bad anymore. I'm going to go back and uh, sell them back to uh, Once Upon a Child once again. The same shoes, if I would have bought from a, a branded store like Oshkosh, it would have costed me around 30 to 40 bucks and I just paid $7. So that's a steal, don't you think so? And there's nothing wrong in buying secondhand uh, items for your kids because they're gonna outgrow it so fast and you are also uh, helping in not contributing to adding to the uh, landfills and you're going to help the environment. So I just wanted to say, uh, be sensible uh, about our planet, be kind to it, because if we are not being kind to our nature, it might react in ways that we don't want it to. Uh, a big shout out to all my friends uh, who have uh, handed me down their kids' clothes or toys. Um, in, in a way, you all have also helped out the environment. Okay, so it's time to wrap up my video. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I do intend to make more videos related to health, fitness, frugality uh, and related things too. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye then.